Have you ever wanted to fly in survival? Have you ever wondered if Minecraft has lore? Me neither. That's why I'm making a video over it. This is sort of groundbreaking, sort of not, if you know what I mean. It's command stuff, you probably won't get this, but I'll go over everything new in 1.19, well, command-wise. Welcome back to Coder MC. This is the place, or the YouTube channel as I'd like to call it, where I go over everything command-wise and I make cool command block creations. Today, I'll be going over game tests and slash ability. These are both new 1.19 features to Bedrock Edition. I don't know if Java will ever get them. And they're kind of cool in my opinion. The one has super deep secrets and are just kind of interesting. And one is just really good for like mini games and getting all those like, spectator features without being in spectator mode, if you know what I mean. Alright, so first of all, we're I'm going to get a couple items to start this off so I can do a couple tests over certain things that will come shortly. Got that. And let's see if I... Oh, uh, yes, that. I don't know if I'll need a command block for this. I probably won't. Alright, so, first thing we're gonna go over is slash ability. This is kind of cool. I mean, it helps with kind of being in spectator mode, but not being in spectator mode. So watch, you just type in this. Slash ability. See, it works in that. By the way, if you, you have to enable cheats for this stuff. You have to enable 1.19. Uh, anyone's username or... Any player may fly is what we're gonna go over first. We're gonna go true. You can probably guess. I mean, you can fly. But what this does, let me go into sur survival. See, I'm in survival. I'm spamming my spacebar. I can't fly. And as you guessed, this. This is kind of freaky. Wow, this shouldn't happen. This shouldn't be real, but it is. Oh, I can set my, myself on fire. If I'm on fire, I can just fly away on fire. I could take that. I could throw that. I needed that, but not anymore because I'm on fire. The fire hates me because I was on fire. Anyway, so that's what that slash may fly. That's pretty much all it is. Now, if you want to take that away, just type that and make it false. And then now I can't fly anymore. I almost die. Okay, so I'm gonna go into game mode creative. All right, so now we're in game mode creative. Let me get that uh, water breathing potion back because I kind of needed that. Let's take that and let's do slash ability at. Uh, how about mute? This is really helpful for those uh, trolls on like realms and servers. So if I want to type anything in like a. It works. That's because mute was set to false. And if I do slash ability, ability, mute, true, I forgot to put my username because that's just how I am. Mute, true, ability has been updated. So now if I also go do A, chat is currently disabled. Wanna go A again? And A is very many A's. Anyway, see, chat is currently disabled. The only way to undisable it is by doing sl slash ability, my username, mute, mutes, false. As you can see, I can type in as many A's as I want. Why would I want to do that? Don't ask me. All right, so now that we got slash ability, wait, there was one more. I lied to you. Slash ability, the awesome world builder. I have no earthly idea. I, I was experimenting this for two hours. I, I, like, I spent two hours on a Friday trying to figure out this thing, and no matter what I did, I tried command blocks in survival. I tried using things like breaking blocks. I tried using items. I tried placing down blocks and crap. Nothing worked. Which sucks. Which means less content, which means less views. Anyway, so if I wanted to go back here and make it false, it supposedly reverses that action of whatever it does, which is good, I guess, in a way. Okay, now next, slash game test. I am personally really excited for this one. Little do you know, 
I'm one of the very few people on Earth who know how this works. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Because if, if you do and if someone finds out that they also know it, they're going to come bug me with it. And I have enough on my mind. Alright, slash game test. Slash game test. It was shown blue because it's a new feature and it's experimental. Let's do... I experimented with this for like a week. I know almost everything about it. So if I go... Run this, or run set, I think. It should do that. You see that? That's what I'm looking for. This is all the tests to see if Minecraft works. For instance, let's go... I'm going to choose a random one. I'm going to go further a, a little more. I'm going to go... This one. This maze looks cool. I like this one. Let's see. Walk to location far. Okay. So we get that. See that, zombie? That is one heck of fast zombie. As you can see, its goal is to get right here. And it was super speedy fast and got it got there in like three seconds. Which means if this pops up green, the game test passed. Which means it works. Nothing failed. Uh, and let's see here. Uh... What the? Spread from face toward direction? Let's see what this does. Uh... Gray on green on... Okay, this one's not a good example because it's less visible. Uh, let's go... Chicken. Did the chicken eat a cow? Alright, spawn at location. So we got spawn at location. Okay, so that's basically saying... Oh, let me get rid of this. Let's see if it says anything. I'm still experimenting, experimenting with these ones. Alright, so it's spawning uh, two types of entities. The item entity and the mob entity. And they both spawn correctly, which means the game test passed. This is a thing for it. And let's see here. A cool thing about this, fun fact, APIT or API tests, you cannot put that inside a command block. Like, it would show API test, boom, A, 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 A. My structure. Let's get rid of the my structure. And we go. And it says structure. Okay. Wait. See, look. Invalid. Invalid. See? So that, that means it doesn't work without a structure. Or you can't do anything with it. No, no load. N no, none of that. You can't corner that. Let's see. What else here? Uh. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a, an explanation of game tests. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands of these tests. I didn't reach the very end because this goes on. I went up to like 5,000 blocks. As you can see, my Z is at 475, 500 now. Let's say I wanted to go forward, slash CP, at S, forward, wherever I'm looking, 1,000 blocks. Look, look at this. Look, you'll be able to see little bits and pieces of game to see. Look at that. Goes for thousands of blocks. I'm, I'm not even kidding. You want to try this out? So, let me get the command back. Uh, slash game test run set. That's that makes all of the things. Let's see here. There's a specific one I want to show you guys. Are we going back? Yeah, we're going backwards. So that's where it was. That's where it ended. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's not that one. There was one somewhere around here that can kill you no matter what. Why would you need this? I don't know. But if you can somehow file this off and like delete everything else, or like find this one in the slash game test, slash game test, where is it? So slash game test, uh, run, whatever it is, one of these. This is all a different game test. If you can find the one, that is the one that I'm looking at, then you could somehow kill anyone within that area. So I think it's this one right here. You see this? Let's see. Uh, I need a friend that actually knows stuff about commands. Let's, let's say this man. See, this is friend. And he, he loves commands. But he doesn't know game tests. And that's why I'm here to show this man what game tests can do. As you can see, like the great friend I am, I can go in here, I can press this button, I could, I could kill my friend in the process, and while this villager goes to sleep, I could die too. Wait, villager, yeah, see, 
I can die in third person on command, which is amazing. Alright, so, since that is the death part, even in creative, I'm going to get into some uh, juicier things. Let's see here. I'm going to go back to Game Test Central, wherever that was. It's somewhere in this direction, probably a thousand block in this direction. That's my spawn point, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so a thousand blocks in this direction, I'm negative 37 blocks, okay. And I'm lost. Just kidding, I'm not lost because I just gotta go this way and I'll find Game Test. Alright, there's Game Test. So, these next two things are absolutely crazy. Like, if Mojang could make these things mean something, and the first thing I'm gonna show you do something, it's gonna be revolutionary. If I can find it, oh, that's, that's not good. That, why are there so, that's, that's, that's not good. Again, this is every game test, every test to see if anything can do this stuff. Oh no, my arachnophobia is kicking, kicking in. All right, so, if I keep going this way, I'll find something that I want. I'm not finding what I want, so I'm just gonna summon in what I want. Slash game test. Run. That's POS. Run. Rub. Run. Let's see. Al. LA tests. LA pickup item. See this? This is player dot sim frog. Excuse me. This is player sim underscore frog, and he loves Minecraft. In fact, he dies for Minecraft. If I kill everything that wait slash kill. I.e. type equals LA. It kills only LA's, which means if I summon, in, which means if I summon in this, and I go boom, kill the LA. I got a simulated player, and I like the person I am. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna. This is my test subject now. You see, I have no clue who this person is. And he just disappears on command, which is kind of awesome. Let's see. Let's do that. Kill all LA's, and let's see if I can kill him. Oh. Player Sim Frog was slain by the awesome. So this guy has all pers like all player functionality. It has all the, the characteristics of a player. It can take damage, can receive things from LAs. There's a couple of tests where it can pick up, place, and break things. So these things are like artificial AI, which is amazing. It's like test players, which it honestly hypes me up when I think about it. Let's do let's do that again. Kill all LAs. Dang it, not fast enough. I gotta kill things faster. Boom. Speed. See, that speed, I can kill things like in an instant. See, I could set him on fire if I wanted to. Why would I want to do that? See, he kills all that. He does that. He dies before I can splash him with poison and kill him again. Alright, let's kill him again. Boom. Kill all LAs. I go that. Boom. He takes poison like a player. Oh, let's go night vision. Let's say I want to... He took some XP, as you can see. Alright, see this? Oh, by the way, when it turns red, that's gonna state everything that's wrong with it. So, for instance, it did not expect the entity... It did not expect an entity of item equals zero. And the LA did not pick up the item, which means the LA couldn't pick up the item, and it couldn't deliver it to the player. Which means the LA either died or glitched. And since there's no player interference with game tests, usually, uh, until now... It's not, it's not gonna die, which means it glitched out. And that's how Mojang fixi fixes their bugs in Bedrock Edition. At least that's my theory. All right, this next thing, this is possibly the more revolutionary one. Not technical wise, but for all those uh, film theorists or video game theorists out there, or the conspirists, this is something that is kind of weird. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Look, I'm gonna drop these items. I'm gonna drop everything I have. Look. Okay, so. Since you cannot right-click things and have them do something in Bedrock Edition, at least not that I'm aware of, I'm gonna get a random block. See, look at this. Dang it, I clicked on the chip. Bucket of Salmon. Okay, see this? I'm gonna right-click it. I'm right-clicking. And nothing happens. That's a bad example. Let's. I'm gonna right click. It's gonna happen. You saw the bucket. It flashed for a second. And look at that. Look at that. It says lore. Since when can you add lore to salmon? And why is this guy not in the water? Why is he so large? Hello. 
But look at this. Look, this is insane. Oh, he dead. This is lore salmon. Let's say I wanted a piece of armor. Let's say I wanted a, a netherite hoe. Right click on something. Boom. What? Okay, I clearly haven't played around with this feature enough. So let's let's get around a block. How about that? Iron block. So I'm gonna place it. See it, look at that. Lore. And see how it doesn't play that animation again in the inventory? Let's see, I wanna get another random block. Block of coal. Why is it always the ores? See this? See I'm right clicking. Nothing happens. Look at the block. Right click again on the ground. Animation! I'm clicking again, nothing happens. Because it's a lower block. I say I want to pick block it again, which means I get two blocks of coal. They're the same, they're the same block, but different types of the same block. How does this work? Why does why does it work? So you have two blocks of coal. Why would I need that? Let me get more blocks of coal, you know? Well, why not? Boom. 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 Okay, so now we get all that. I'm going to make a weird... Oh, you can stack lore. I forgot about that. Yeah. And I want to do that. Boom. That's a lot of lore. That, that's a lot of gosh dang lore. Shoot, that's that's a lot of grass. And as you can see, I want. Oh shoot. Well, as you can see, that sucks. Cause look. See, that that's really cool. They say I want to do something like this. It. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, what would it do? I don't know. But you can place it. It's weird. That that's with. But I'm using my mouse to do this. Now I'm just messing around. But if you could like make little cool patterns with this. See, look at that. That's just nuts. Let's say I wanted to get... Let's make a, a pattern out of uh, black concrete. Why not? Who doesn't like that? See, this? I'm, I'm all around my inventory. None of it is lore. Let's say I want to do that. I want to do in the middle and the very end. This is all the lore. That's a lot of lore. Let's say I wanted that. Let's say I wanted that. Let's say I wanted that. 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 And that. This is it right here. I can make these all lore. I guess. I don't know why I would, but I can. And if I use my mouse to pick up a lore block, or, or see that? Boom pattern in the inventory why would i need this who knows to impress friends probably see that look at that that's cool and it's not centered either which is amazing so we've got all this boom and i don't know what the heck lore is supposed to mean can lore mean what minecraft is adding wait okay this is gonna sound crazy i just thought of this just now reinforce deep slate see this I'm gonna make a shape. I'm, I want you to tell me if you recognize it from somewhere. See this? This is a rectangle. In case you didn't know, this is this is a, a, a what was the word? Not a parallelogram. This is a rectangle. This is not a rhombus. This is a four-sided thing. I forgot the name, the mathematical term. This thing looks like a portal from the ancient cities, and this thing right here, right here is a lore block. This is a lore block. Maybe, somehow, you can get lore blocks in survival and activate the portal. Maybe this is a portal to another dimension. Who knows? Maybe this has something to do with it, because a fourth dimension, it has practically... It has to have a use. Let's say the end. It's, a, it's uses for a giant arena to beat the game. The nether, it's uses for traveling. What's this portal's use? It, this is gonna be the storyline. That's my theory. Storyline. This is storyline of Minecraft. You use lore to activate storyline. Which sparks up discussion in the community, which leads to mass chaos. And everybody loves mass chaos. Except me. So that's pretty much everything, like, game test and ability-wise. Hello, this is Future Editor Me. Thank you for watching through the entire video. I know it was a painstaking process, but it helps me grow my channel. As you probably don't know, it gives me impressions and recommends my content on YouTube. 
and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed because I want you to stay updated on my videos and what better way to spend your time other than touching grass than by watching my videos. Hear me out. They're good, they're entertaining, and if you're anything like me, you'll actually make use of these and you could put these in your own world and impress your friends. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.